Nobody doubts that Ben Shapiro is like a bad boy. boy. Wiz, he's boy wit, boy wonder on the right. He's smart. He's intellectual. He's so, he's so brilliant. brilliant. Listen to this take by a boy titan Genius. of intellect, a champion. <laughs> he's for... trying to rationalize why feeding low income kids is bad. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even say it's bad. It's really, this is a great video. Let's watch. Let's take a look at what he has to say. Because he, he doesn't even say that it's bad. Like he, which makes it even funnier. <laughs> he says it's cheap and good, but we still shouldn't do it. So there's like a whole Powerful. back and forth that was good. Let me, let me follow this thread here. I, I just started with the dude, video because that's where it started. I fucking ratio the shit out of Ben, by the no, way. I don't know why you didn't put that in. Oh, you own the Daily Wire now. I didn't see it. What? Now you own the Daily Wire as well. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. Okay, so here's what he said. Yeah, I'm giving I'm giving Stephen Carter $100 <laughs> million, dollars, actually. <laughs> I protect kids from the sick radical left, shouldn't they also protect kids from hunger? Wouldn't it make sense to strengthen food stamps and have school lunch be free since some kids are in school lunch debt? Uh, well, I mean, if you are a parent, school lunches are not going to solve the problem of child hunger at any serious level. Wrong. There is a problem of children actually starving. That is a child endangerment scenario in which CPS needs to be called. Uh, Insane. Well, like, they do that already. Starvation. The truth is, it does not take that much money to feed a child. I know. Also I wrong. Uh, the you should be feeding. This is like the most out of touch, fucking the, yeah, gifted piece of shit. Pe such a dude. Yeah, it's just fucking worth twenty five million dollars. Like literally, <laughs> oh, I don't understand. I have children. It's super easy to feed them. Like, uh, how much can a banana cost, Michael? Uh, fifty dollars. Like that, was, that's his. He moment. literally said it doesn't cost that much to feed a kid. I have three of them. The feeding kids is if you're not super fucking well off, very expensive. Dude, you know what's awesome? Uh, also, like on top of that, everything else. Like again, net worth twenty five million dollars. Doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Totally talking out of his ass. I don't have children. Even. I know that's expensive as shit, right? Kids are but like, because he's right wing, no one considers this to be like a faux pas. You it's know what I mean? Incredible. He's like, poor kids should die. Yeah. Now, poor kids should starve. A couple to death. components I have to touch on here. Okay. Let me finish not, the clip. There's, okay, finish the clip. Yeah. Your child before you feed yourself. If it does not take that much money to feed a child, I know I have three of them. Uh, the you should be feeding your child before you feed yourself. It's that simple. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It's a much deeper problem at work than school lunches if kids are legitimately starving. Okay, not welcome to America, literally, brother. We do have problems. A fucking idiot! Like, <laughs> how? How are you the smartest conservative? Okay, <laughs> here, here are some, here are some fundamental facts. Here, uh, I'm gonna, I, I talked about it briefly on my quote retweet as well. There are nine million children that are food insecure in the United States of America. Fact number one. Fact number two. America produces an abundance of food. Okay, we have enough food for not just the United States of America, but pretty much for the rest of the planet. The, the, the idea that like someone is dying of hunger in the United States of America is insanely cruel and inhumane. The idea that we have children that are in food insecure households in the United States of America is again, cruel and insane. It's because agricultural producers who are heavily subsidized by the federal government, by the way, and it would not exist if it wasn't for central planning in the form of federal subsidies, refuse to give out uh, additional food for free because that would uh, really significantly lower food prices, okay? So when you're thinking about inflation, when you're thinking about how expensive food is, remember that, okay? We are, our federal government, your tax dollars are actually helping uh, offset a lot of the costs of food production, which then comes back to your, uh, you know, which which comes to your grocery stores, and it's expensive because someone needs to make you money know, along that, the uh, line. Reminds me of that scene from Grapes of Wrath where they are burning oranges. Yeah, I don't know if you read that book. Yeah, I did read that book. Super. Steinbeck is is great. Yeah, Mr. Socialist. Everybody's starving, starving during the uh, Great Depression, and the farmers have surplus oranges. This, I'm assuming, actually happened. He put it in the book. Yeah. Of and they, and they would they it's were happening right now. They were trekking to California from cross country and they would walk across fields of oranges being burned to keep the prices high. So they didn't have to feed uh, give yeah. them away to starving people. Yeah. So it's cruel, it's disgusting, it's capitalism, it's the way of life, baby. So that's number one. So we have an abundance of food. It's just a logistics problem. It's just because you know, we don't want to we don't want to lower the price of food too much, right? So that's number one, or that's number two. Number three, do you want to know what the most uh, calorically dense food that these food insecure households get, the children in these food insecure households get? Mm -hmm. 
school breakfast programs and school lunches. That is precisely the reason why there's a major point of contention here with school lunches. The fact that you have to pay for school lunches or the fact that you have to work to pay your school lunch debt in the richest nation on earth is not only laughable, but also, again, insanely fucking cruel. And Ben would know any number of these facts if he gave a shit about what he's talking about instead of just constantly talking out of his ass about how he doesn't give a fuck about anything and vice signaling, well, like I said. It's interesting that he cares so much about kids. I mean, he cares about uh, kids being what they're taught in school. He cares about the fact that they have a right to be born. He cares so much about kids. But when it comes to, like, the most basic necessity of taking care of children here who aren't part of his super affluent family outside of his basic nuclear family, he wants them to fucking starve. And the solution is just call CPS. Yeah. Big, if you big government. C big government, by the way. You know, you know who gets trafficked, dude? Children of the foster care system, but you don't give a shit because those are poor kids. You know yeah. what I mean? A lot of times those are black and brown kids. You don't give a shit about that because you don't care about children. Okay? If you did, you would know, like I said, school lunches and school breakfast programs are profoundly important in combating food insecurity. <sighs> food insecurity in households, food insecurity in children in, in general. Because... Um, you know, it's it's also very important for their development as well. If they don't get enough food, if they're malnourished, they're not going to develop adequately. So they, uh, this theory of call CPS is all, is as stupid as saying sell your house when it goes under sea level. Yeah, it, he says he's saying if you're too poor to feed your child, then we need to put them in foster care. You're talking about millions of kids who are more too expensive. poor. Which or, more so, so you so you want to set up like. Uh, FEMA camps full of parentless kids, and then what? We have to feed them Not there. Not even parentless, by you the wanna... way. They have parents. They just their parents are working. In a lot of instances, these food insecure do we give, do we have working give, parents. Do we give the camps of foster children uh, food? Do we give them lunches? Yeah, we can give them. We can give them lunches once they're in the FEMA camp. Okay, yeah. good, good. I just yeah, gotta it, make sure fucking, because I don't it's know. It's mind-boggling that Mr. <laughs> Save the Children, you know, cares about children. Mr. Small Government's solution to an otherwise, like, very effective and not all that costly problem, which you could eliminate by just funding it, okay? His solution is not to literally do this cheap thing, which is to make sure that there is no such thing as lunch debt, eradicate that, and give, give them food, children man. food at schools, which, by the way, is so important. Just and this is another eat, fact that I have brother. to mention here. It's so important that during COVID, when schools closed, they still kept school lunches. Did you know this? In many states... Even though schools were closed, school lunch programs continued. That is how important school lunches are in combating child malnourishment and food insecurity in households in the United States of America, where, once again, I repeat myself, 9 million children are suffering from food insecurity. Let's take those 9 million kids. Let's put them in a camp. Yeah, he wants to break down 9 million fucking doors with, also, the, with the government. Also, like, at the come same with time, the CPS agents. at the same time, he goes, the problem with this country is kids without dads. So here's my solution. Let's take the poorest among them and take them away from their dads. Yeah. You Incredible. fucking, you're not a serious person. You're fucking just an evil bitch, bro. You're an evil bitch. Fuck you. He goes, Ted, Ted, uh, he, actually, California senator, right? Big Teddy boy. We love Ted, don't we? Do we love I mean, Ted? He's all right. He's just he's okay, typical yeah, Democrat. He sucks, whatever. Uh, well, anyway, he responds. He says, Dear Ben Shapiro, your marks are dumb. Let's do math. Say a kid should eat 21 meals a week. School, lunch, and provide five of those meals, solving nearly one-fourth of the problem. That's pretty good. Oh, and how about you miss one of your meals five days a week and see how you feel? Okay, let me go now to Ben's response where he doubles down. He says, Dear Ted, if you think the key... Think standing between kids and starvation is school lunch. That's silly. Have you looked into this at all? No, this is literally, he is openly stating an incorrect statement. Like, it's so frustrating to me when I see motherfuckers like Ben just so loudly and proudly demonstrate their ignorance on a subject because it is the exact opposite. Yes, it quite literally is standing between kids and starvation. School lunches are the most yeah. calorically dense meal that food insecure households get for their children. Yeah. It is a fucking fact. 
it is such a well-established fact that, like I said, during COVID, when schools closed, the lunch programs continued. They usually have it during summer as well in order to facilitate additional calorically dense food substitutes. Now, a lot of you will say, well, Hassan, I went to public school in America and the food was dog shit. You mean to tell me that these children, 9 million of them, are possibly eating that food and that is the best type of food that they can get? Yes. Also, that's how fucking dire the situation is in the United States of America. Right. Usually like super that like it's like pizza and fucking yeah. burritos. Shouts out to Amy Klobuchar and, and for making pizza a vegetable. That's the uh, <laughs> but that's calories. Shouts Listen, out. If you're starving, I love that calories is calories. Who fucking cares? Exactly. That that, uh, exactly. We don't, we're not, that's we don't have to worry about nutrition when you're starving. Okay. People <laughs> cannot comprehend, especially like listen, we're we're wealthy people living in the fucking lap of luxury in sunny California, Los Angeles. It it is hard for us to comprehend how this shit works. Listen, I got two kids. I know how cheap it is. No, I'm just saying like it, it blows my mind just like read a fucking book dude read a book read an article read a, a well, journal it's, it's read a study even, one study one study it's read not one even fucking like study. something that is okay to get wrong it's not like we're talking about some you know fucking uh, sidetrack bullshit we're talking about children who you basically obsess over not fucking starving starving for example let's see 17,683 kids were given puberty blockers between 2017 and 2021. That's four years. That's not a lot. Versus 9 million kids in America starving. Yeah, in 2020, 14.8% of households in the United States were food insecure. 14.8% of households. This, this man cares Insane. about kids, but yet he's obsessed with something that it affects less than 18,000 kids over four years. Which is an objectively good thing, by the way. It yeah, is it, objectively it, right. good. It has led to tremendously positive. Well, I'll tell results. you what's object. What's like objectively bad? Starvation. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. It's like uh, well, y you have much larger problems if uh, you're starving <laughs> if you don't get your food. Yeah. It's like he's not even wrong. Yeah. We are in that situation, <laughs> and we do have much larger problems. And it's not being made any better by fucking dickheads like you who get paid by like. All the billionaire oil barons that ensure that this system of oppression continues burn the fucking while oranges. you fucking repeat American Enterprise Institute talking points from like 1994. I fucking hate this piece of shit so much. He's just, I can't get over the people who think he's smart or interesting. I mean, this tweet, there's 6,500 people who are like, yes, I support American children starving. He literally doubles down and 6,597 dickheads like that like, tweet. Starving children, yes, I want please. I want the CPS to come in and break their fucking doors down and separate them forcibly from their I have, fucking listen, family. Listen, in my gate, see how they like it. Where does Ben live? Is it in LA? No, yeah, he, he lives, lives in Los Florida. Angeles. He lives in Florida now. Oh, yeah. did he leave? Am I? Am yeah. I? Am he I? Left very fuck. publicly. He bye bye. lived in Nashville, but then now he lives in Florida. Okay. This man, can you imagine? Him? Anyway, he goes in my gated community in Florida. I, I have never seen one kid starving. Okay, at the private school <laughs> I go to, their lunches are beautiful, very nice. Nobody's starving there, so I, I, I just don't get it. Like, if my neighbor's kids were starving, I, I, I called CPS because something's wrong. I mean, they're millionaires. Why aren't they feeding their kids? And so, 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 I just don't get it. You know. Poor, and and anyway, if poor kids it. die, who cries? It really is. It, he really doesn't get it. If poor kids die, if a poor kid starves in the forest, does anybody hear it? It just blows my mind again that, that like that. this person is not being laughed out of every room, that this person is not being dunked on mercilessly, that this person is not belittled every moment that he lives, and people genuinely think he's like a brilliant guy. If I Facts fucked don't up, care about your feelings. If I fucked, I mean, dude, I, I made a false prediction about fucking Russia not invading Ukraine, even though my analysis was sound a year ago, and motherfuckers haven't let that shit go. Meanwhile, Ben Shapiro says this as a, a, a like as a part of his job. Like this is his daily rhetoric all the fucking time. Focus on important shit like this, dumbasses. There's a there's a kid starving in the street. He's panhandling. He's begging for food. He says, and Ben Shapiro goes, facts don't care about your feelings, bitch. <laughs> Spits in his face. The child eagerly eats it, hoping there's calories in it. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> it's so, it's so immoral. It's, it's oh, just that kid's so cruel. Around. Yeah, it's actually disgusting. And his Cruelty wife's a doctor, is, is too. A like, my God. His wife's a doctor. My God, man. What happened to the hippo, hypocritical oath, more like? Uh, yeah. 
Good I'm one. sure I'm not the first one to say that. Right. Huh? Yeah. But it's true. That was good. Thank you. That was real good. So that's Ben Shapiro. I think we should change the title. Ben Shapiro says, let them kids die. Yeah. Let's fuck them kids. Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> I mean, moving, on. moving on. Uh, speaking of...